Okay. Let's go again. Another I am. Let's um, I think try the Albin counter gambit. I know it's not probably the soundest, but uh, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> um, Alright, maybe uh, bishop e6, just attacking c4. Oh, well, I'll take it. I think that's okay to take it. Bishop b4 check here, or just bishop a6. Bishop a6 might be annoying later if he wanted to play e3. Right. Okay. D3 is almost tempting here. So we castle D takes, and if it takes this, I don't know, knight B4. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted, I'm tempted. D3. <laughs> knight B4. Uh, am I going to get it in some unexpected way here, or is it is knight C2? Is knight C2 any good? Uh, or knight D3? Or I wonder just F6. Hmm. I think I'd better get a move on, whatever I do, so I'll get the pieces out. If he plays a3, then I'll play knight c2. Um, maybe I should consider casting queenside as well. Alright, knight c2 here. That's protecting um, a3. I play bishop c5, knight f5, and try and target e3. Just try and get king attack going, especially h5, h4 as well. Just trying to rip open these lines diagonally and vertically against the king. I think it's a reasonable course of action. Knight f5 is also positional because, again, more pressure on d4. But knight d4, I can take. No, no, he's got the bishop. I don't know. I've, I seem to have a pleasant position here anyway. If I can just, just get in. Um, Knight f5. I guess he could play g4, but does he really want to do that? Uh, if he doesn't, I suppose h5. So so I can keep my knight and think about h4. Um, yeah, g4. I mean, maybe the knight can come to e7 and then to c6. So what moves do I want to get in? Bishop c5, there's b4, bishop b6. And there isn't so easily a b5. He's also weak in control of c4 for his knight. So I want I think bishop c5 and h5 is attractive, but which which order? Um, okay, I think h5. I'll go for that first. Um, now bishop c5, getting all the moves I want in. So maybe bishop c4 and knight takes e3 would be nice. A juicy kind of. Ah, uh, here, h5, there's g4. g5, though, um, maybe that's significant. Maybe b5 is significant here. And h4, g4, that's a bit of a shame. What about g5? So knight g5, rook g8. I think I'll go for this. Ah, oh, there's e6. Alright, rook g8 first, just, just preparing g5 and maybe g4. So again, that's semi-positional as well. Um, if I'm undermining White's control of d4, yeah, so he's giving up the exchange there. Okay, I can play this though. I guess he could do a pawn second to get in knight e5, which might be dangerous. Um, would slow down the attack, I guess. Right, I'll go for g4 anyway. Here, yeah. trying to open up some lines. Um, I've got bishop c4 and bishop a3. Oh, that's very materialistic, but he just get the a file and a7. Or would he? When I go back to c5, would that be a way of just closing up the c file? Not sure. Right here, I think I'll have to take on d4 anyway. Um, take on d4. He's got knight d6 at the end of this and queen c7, virtually mating, which isn't good news. In fact, knight d6 here is dangerous as well. 
So maybe uh, taking on h3 is bishop h3. So king b8 might be uh, might be an idea. Unfortunately, d5. Yeah. Um, this isn't that hot. I can take though, and then queen takes d5. So bishop h3, queen takes d5, maybe. Otherwise, h4. So if the bishop moves, maybe h4. Is my king running out of safety? Or um, is this okay? Uh, e6. Maybe I should try and get moving rook c8 before this um, gets really dangerous over here. But yeah, I'm just trying to get to his king a little bit more. Right, now hg. Could play rook g3. Uh, queen b5 is rook c7. Maybe it's time for rook c8. Then queen b5 might be resource as long as knight c6 is not going to come in. That looks pretty dangerous. Um, hopefully, it's not like mating with that fawn pawn on c6. So, will I be able to get in? In fact, okay, queen b5 here sort of gives the king a little bit more. Safety if the queen's there because knight c6 is not so um, possible. Oh, how about rook? Just just going for the center. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Okay, I'm prepared. I think to, to to lose my bishop if knight c4 just to take. Oh, it's queen f2. It's a major threat anyway. All right, so now maybe c6. Just trying to undermine this center. Okay. Um, maybe again. And, and, rook, and the idea of rook takes d6 to try and decoy the rook. So for e6, rook takes d6. Just trying to exploit this. Um, This um, diagonal, right? Okay, f takes. I'm losing the exchange anyway. Ah. Okay, so why not f takes? Anything better? Uh, I think I'll do that. Okay, keep some pressure on them. Um, D6. Uh, D7 is looking really dangerous now after Queen E5. Uh, okay, Rook D7 to play Queen D8. It's looking a bit grim, but he's only got about 20 seconds left. Um, he hasn't got Rook E2, thankfully. Okay, can I avoid? Going into an embarrassing mating net with like the rook coming down. Uh, I take that. I think the knight is pretty strong. And try and get my king. I'll stop c5. I think my king can come to a6 actually. If I can get my king to a6, so there's nothing to draw. And I think I'm going to test him on on the time factor. So I'm going to which I think was a bad idea because uh, he's doing very well here. Oh dear. Right, what is he going to do here though? Okay. Um, like two seconds. So he's a sort of um, perfectionist I am. Giving himself like one second to finish me off. Uh, I think I'll play rook d7 as the practical move. I know that's sick, and it's part of five minutes, though. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
but it is part of five minutes she has to try and win on time as well as the position and um, I thought I was doing quite well for for a while in this game to give him you know the, the time pressure that he did have but this this seemed to be a major error here in some way that he had these huge center pawns but on the other hand if I'd taken knight d6 king b8 I think I was getting stuffed because queen c7 um, it, it looked really dangerous and bishop b7 probably mating so so I don't know his big center seems to come with a vengeance in this game but he just simply used up a lot more time uh, than me so um, I did test him on the clock here um, yeah, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.